All right, dyslexic genius here. What we're going to start on the opera, I'm back on the opera, is putting this flywheel together that has the wire and the screw hole, a little baby, baby, baby screw right here that we don't want to lose. I use a magnetic tray to hold those. So what you have to do is you have to get some 20 thousandths music wire, and it goes... From that little hole through the shaft little hole to the other side and now what you want to do is you want to trim it so it doesn't come out in the slot here because we have a retaining ring like a Victor spring barrel that we have to put in there that holds the wire in place because it, it'll move a little so what you what happens is if you take a piece of music wire like this, and you have a pair of dice or needle nose, and we cut it like that. Now if my angel can really focus in, you get a little burr up here. Yeah, I see that. So you, you take some 320 sandpaper, and we Try to take the burr off. Where do you get the music wire? I bought it from a music shop. But I was very... Uh, and you want to make sure that it'll... We have to go a little more. But you have the idea. Or you can use a belt sander to file that down. That's, that's what I use as a belt sander. Why can't you go in with the other end? You can go in with the other end, you get, but you're going to keep trimming and trimming till you get it to come in like this and to slide. So what you'll do is you'll do this. The first thing we do, because this will never, this flywheel rides on the shaft and it moves just a little bit. This little bit of movement will cause wear. So we're just going to do a wee bit coat. You'll never oil this thing. A wee bit of STP. And we're only going to put it right there. That's all it needs. So this shaft... The point in goes this way where the groove is because the governor drive gear hooks onto this part. So this all fits into the casting. So you'll come in and it'll auto automatically hook that hook the holes up. And my angel, you can see this, you kinda there we go. So now what I do is I use a pair of Kellys. And then you kind of bend it up in. Whoopsie, Brett, went the wrong way. Now you want to check the hole here and the hole here. Now you take the retaining ring and you just pop it into the groove. We're not done yet. The hard part's coming. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the little screw in that hole. So what you're going to do is you're going to look through this hole and put a flashlight in here. And you can see the threads. So now what you're going to do because we do not want to lose this thing. 
we're going to take a little beeswax. And we're going to fill the top of that. The slot of the oh, screw? The slot of the screw with some beeswax. There we go. And we're going to take a small screwdriver. Need my, my extra eyeballs here. Now that we have it on, you will gently dab it into a little sewing machine oil. And now it'll go through that hole gently. And then we will come down. So the beeswax acts as a glue to hold it to your screwdriver? Mm -hmm. Couldn't you use a magnetic screwdriver? Yep. That's all there is to it. It's screwed into place, and now that's all assembled. Now what we'll do is we're going to assemble this in into the machine in the next video but that's how you do the this part the first flywheel the next one has very a lot of variables and that's my tip for the day